In a previous video, we compared four of the top Thunderbolt 3 portable SSDs that are capable of read speeds of up to around 2500 megabytes per second. And while they're all great drives, the best 1TB options were priced up to $400. We really needed a portable drive that was as fast as possible so we could quickly transfer large video files between computers. But as you'll see in a minute, the other drives we tested have some major limitations. So in this video, we're going to show you how to build your own portable SSD that's not only faster than all the other options, but cheaper, more portable, future-proof, and fully customizable. Here's how we did it. Only very recently, Thunderbolt 3 NVMe SSD enclosures started popping up on Amazon for much lower prices than before. And what's special about Thunderbolt 3 is that it allows for read speeds of up to 3000 megabytes per second compared to regular USB-C, which only supports speeds of around 500 megabytes per second per drive. So basically, you buy this enclosure and either reuse an M.2 NVMe SSD that you currently own, or you buy whichever one you'd like to on Amazon, which is a freedom that you don't have when buying a branded portable SSD. And of course, you need to make sure that your computer has at least one Thunderbolt 3 port, which is now available on most Windows computers and is a given on any recent Mac. So this custom portable SSD build starts with the enclosure, and this is the one we use because it's built out of aluminum with thermal pads that touch the SSD's chips, so the whole enclosure should act as a heat sink and keep our SSD cool. Now the SSD that we used is the Sabrent Rocket 1TB NVMe SSD. What's really special about it is that it uses PCI Express 4.0, and if you stick this into a PC, it can get read speeds of up to 5,000 megabytes per second, assuming you have a PCI Express 4 motherboard. It does that by using a new Fizon SSD controller that's incredibly fast. Now we won't get speeds that quick using Thunderbolt 3, but the extra tech that's built into this drive gives it a massive advantage over other options, as we'll show you in just a minute. And the awesome thing about this drive is that you can buy a heatsink with it for only $10 more, which will come in handy if you ever want to use it in a PC, or if you want to jerry-rig it into a cheaper SSD enclosure, as we'll show you at the end of this video. So now we have the enclosure in this future-proof drive for a total of $320. So let me show you how easy it is to put it together and we'll start benchmarking it. The enclosure comes with the mini screwdriver, so you simply take the screws out and open it up. Then grab the SSD and plug it in, which is easy because it only goes in one way, so you can't mess it up. Then fasten the SSD in with the included screw, and then screw in and secure the case and you're done. You've got an external SSD that's actually more portable than a lot of the other more expensive options. Now let me show you how it compares to those other branded SSDs. In terms of read speed, using the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, our custom SSD hits 2500 megabytes per second, only being slower than the Samsung X5 by around 50 megabytes. But in terms of the writing speed, this Sabrent SSD reached over 2400 megabytes per second, quicker than the rest of the drives. We also stress tested the drives because each drive has a certain amount of gigabytes it can write at full speed, which is called the SOC cache. Once the cache fills up, the drives greatly slow down for the rest of the transfer. Like for example, the OWC drive went from writing at 1922 megabytes per second down to 950 after hitting its 30 gigabyte cache limit. This caused it to be the slowest drive out of the bunch, taking 2 minutes and 45 seconds to transfer our large 172 gigabyte file. Now running the same exact test on our custom SSD, the transfer finished in a shockingly low 1 minute and 4 seconds, completely blowing away all of the other drives. Here's how it did it. The Samsung drive had the highest amount of SLC cache at 48 gigabytes before slowing down to the drive's normal writing speeds. Our custom SSD, however, transferred the entire 172 gigabytes without hitting any type of cache limit. The custom drive's aluminum case did get really hot, which means it's working well as a heatsink, and throughout the entire transfer, the slowest speed we saw was a split second drop to 2300 megabytes per second, compared to the rest of the drives that slowed way down after only 20 to 48 gigabytes of written data. So this goes to show that this custom SSD is much faster than all of the other options while also being cheaper. But here's what really makes it great. This Sabrent drive has an extended 5 year warranty, so if for some reason it goes bad, you can simply take it out of the case and use the warranty. And to make it even better, this Sabrent drive has a TBW rating of 1800, 
blowing away the rest of the drives we tested in terms of how good the warranty is. Another benefit of having a custom drive is that if, let's say a couple years down the road, Thunderbolt 4 or 5 comes out and it supports double the transfer speeds. Simply replace the enclosure with a new one and now this custom SSD becomes even faster. That's the beauty of having a custom SSD because you get so much more freedom to swap the parts out however you'd like. And to make it even better right now, it's cheaper and faster than the best branded options available. We initially used this SSD in an even cheaper $77 enclosure, but the only issue was that this drive was slowing down to a thousand megabytes per second because of overheating, which is why we use the more expensive enclosure with better cooling. However, we use the Sabret Rockets heatsink, which you can get by paying an extra ten dollars, and those overheating issues went away. The only problem was that the top of the enclosure would no longer fit over the heatsink. But if you're the type of person who's okay with jerry rigging their stuff, you can grab some gaffer tape and cover it up or if you have a 3D printer, you can make a larger top cover. This will give you awesome performance for a cheaper $277 instead of $320 for the better enclosure, but we thought it was worth it to spend a bit more for a more solid solution. So no matter which option better floats your boat, we'll have Amazon links to both of these enclosures down in the description below, along with the crazy fast Sabrent Rocket SSD and a few other SSD options that we approve of. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can check out that initial SSD comparison to see the benefits of the other pre-built options right over there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you can do so by clicking the circle above. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.